Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, back over here on the bus. I uh, bought a little sander, just a hand sander. I'm uh, sanding down these stripes, and uh, I couldn't find my electric sander still. So, like I said, I went and bought one, a little hand one. All right, uh, I've decided I'm done sanding for today. It's like 4.30 right now. I've got a 45 minute drive home, so I'm gonna call it a day. Plus I put about a inch long slice in my hand. Sitting here sanding uh, this part right here and my hand caught the corner of that plastic sliced it open and I don't have any uh, band-aids or any water over here to wash my hands so I don't want all this this uh, dust getting in the cut but yeah I've done from the top of the windows down to the lower part right here as you can see there's quite a bit of uh, dust on it but uh, there's no shine anymore on it so I've roughed it up pretty good still got a few spots to uh, level out and that's, you know I gotta fill that in you know I haven't done any of that yet but uh, I've got a few little spots nicks and everything that I'm gonna have to fill in but uh, yeah this side is uh, well that's about what I've done on this side haven't done the front cab part yet and you know I haven't done this side but you can see how bad the stripes were Now it is and it's pretty smooth. I mean you can see the indentions but you don't feel them. So I think once the primer goes on that will probably fill in all of the uh, little bitty indentions. Plus I'll probably hit it with a finer sandpaper too once I get everything sanded once. But I uh, worked on the dent a little more today. I was working on this section. I've got it out a little bit. I went and bought this uh, dent puller which doesn't really work too good for the area that I'm working on. That's just too big of a dent and won't fully adhere to it real good. So this was the only spot I was able to get it actually stuck. And even then it wasn't sticking too good because some air is still getting out and when you pull it real hard it just releases. So. But I think what I'm going to do is just sand it out, put a little bit of Bondo on it just to smooth it out a little bit, leave the dent in, just smooth it out, and then just paint it. And eventually, 
I may get another door for it. But we'll see how it looks. If it looks fine and good enough, then oh well. I mean, like I said, this is a. I'm wanting to keep this bus as cheap as possible. But still, you know, do it halfway decent. Main thing is, I want to get it running real good. Eventually, get some new tires on it. And then. You know, I think it'll be roadworthy. Uh, last night I started cleaning some of the walls. Like I mentioned, uh, cleans up pretty good. I still gotta maybe get some steel wool and clean that off. It's kind of stuck, whatever it is. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think I've decided I'm probably going to end up painting the walls. I didn't want to, but I think these, just the stains and where it's faded is going to eventually get on my nerves. And might as well paint it before I get too much stuff in here and set in place. Because I don't think it's going to take but a half a day or a day to to paint it. I'm just going to paint the walls probably. Not going to do anything with the ceiling or these storage bays. And I'll leave the front the way it is. It's just going to be those those three walls. So I think that is about it for uh this weekend. Um, next weekend I probably won't get anything done on the bus. I am planning to head to Gulfport, Mississippi next weekend, next Saturday for a an event uh, called Atomic Blast which is basically a lot of rat rods and everything and be drag racing and uh, burnouts and donuts and flamethrowing contests and so I think I'm gonna go over there do a little bit of coverage on it and uh, well that's just Saturday Sunday Sunday if it's real nice I may come back over here and get a little bit of work done on here but I think until then that is about it uh, as always, thanks for watching and uh, hit that subscribe button.